Missouri is now a week into a new election law we walk you through last Sunday here on Heart of the Matter. Here's a refresher for some of the biggest items. Voters are now required to show current government issued photo IDs at the polls. Election machines have to be air gapped, meaning not directly connected to the Internet and electronic voting machines will be phased out for the most part. The law allows two weeks of no excuse in person absentee voting and the Secretary of State can now review the voter rolls to make sure that the lists are being maintained. Here to discuss the changes and the other issues, please welcome the Missouri Secretary of State Jay Ashcroft to the broadcast. Thanks for stopping by. Thank you for having me. I uh, really appreciate the opportunity. I, I hate to say it, but I have to point out you don't have to have a government issued photo ID to vote. Uh, if you don't want to vote a provisional ballot, you have to do that. But I want every citizen, every resident of the state of Missouri to know that if you're registered and you show up on the polling place on election day, you will be able to vote and your vote will count regardless of whether or not you have that government issued photo ID. Easiest if you have the ID though. We would prefer it. It'll be a little bit faster for you. Okay. Uh, let's talk about the more about this election law. We know several groups are suing the state right now saying that this uh, hurts the effort to get out the vote, restricts uh, groups helping uh, to work to register people and, and get out the vote. What say you about that? Uh, Balderdash. Uh, if you're registered, you can vote. That's been the message of my office since 2017. That will always be the message of my office. That's what people need to know. Frankly, the, the groups that are going out and telling people they won't be able to vote without an ID, not only are they factually incorrect, but they are the ones that are suppressing the vote. I find it disgusting. What about the groups that uh, might have paid staffers that go out and try to register votes, try to, nonpartisan groups that try to get the vote out, saying that they're being stifled by this law? Well, most people that say they're nonpartisan, nonpartisan aren't. But also the law doesn't stifle them from helping people to register to vote. We do require them to register with us if they're going out and soliciting registrations. We do that because of fraudulent registration forms we've had. You don't have to get our permission. You just have to fill out the form on the website and you're done. And frankly, you've, always, you've been required to register as a solicitor for many, many years, far longer than I've been in politics. And you, we're seeing uh, new elections already uh, abide by these uh, new We have an election in St. Louis that's coming up in just a couple of days, about a week. Already now they can vote absentee in person if they want. All right. Uh, you recently announced that the question on recreational marijuana uh, will, will hit the ballot uh, in November thanks to a petition effort. Uh, Governor Parson uh, famously called this plan a disaster. What say you about it? You know, I'm not in favor of it. Okay. Um, I think there's a real difference between saying that there may be some medicinal value to marijuana, but the idea of people just drugging themselves uh, I, I don't think it's a good idea, but under the law, they met the requirements. I, I took an oath to the Constitution. I had to put it on the ballot. Let's talk about the policy uh, with the petition. Longtime observers have kind of noticed uh, that the process for verifying the signatures for the, for the petition uh, was different this time, handled by your office instead of the courts. Why, why the change? Well, it was done both by the local election authorities and then we always have done a verification process. Probably the biggest change, though, was that when I became Secretary of State, I said, let's not be photocopying hundreds of thousands of pages of documents and mailing those out and then having those mailed back. We've gone to a process that's cheaper, that's faster, where we digitize all that information. So not only is it easier for our election authorities, it's easier for us to double check it. And any Missourian, or frankly, anyone that wants can use the Sunshine Law to get their own digital copies to make sure it's done correctly. And I think in this case, it allowed us to find some inconsistencies, some, some errors that had been made before we had to go to court. And I think what we should want in government is always to do the job and to do it well. We were able to do that. I want to get your take on the special session in Jeff City. Uh, it comes to uh, tax cuts. Governor wants a tax cut. Vetoed a plan that would have given uh, rebates to all Missourians. Which one are you in favor of? Well, look, I think the government needs to learn to live with less. The people of the state of Missouri are having to live with less because of inflation. Prices are rising on everything from fuel to, to groceries to you name it. So I think we need to, to reduce the size and scope of government. I hope it's a good special session, but honestly, I'm a lot more excited about what happens after that. I'm excited when we see some real football in Kansas City again. Sure. Would you support a rebate or just an overall tax cut? I like the idea of an overall tax cut because that's a long-term change, and I'd love to see a constitutional amendment that forbids raising taxes without the approval of the people at a general election vote. All right, you know, you've been hitting a lot of big political events this year. I mean, you are Secretary of State after all, uh, raising a lot of money. You've said that you don't want to run for a third term as Secretary of State. 
Are you running for governor? Should we expect to see your name on the ballot? You know, I think what you should expect is that I will continue to do my job and I will concentrate on that. I think we have too many elected officials, politicians that focus on the next thing instead of what they're supposed to be doing. I took an oath to the people to faithfully uphold the office. I will do that. Sure. With the lieutenant governor already kind of pointing toward him running for governor, I figured it was a, an important question. So is there a yes uh, or no You know no what? We, we have to, at the very least, have to get through a November general election to make sure that's run well. All right. Well, Secretary of State Jay Ashcroft, let's talk again uh, when when it probably comes that, that we'll you, have a uh, good discussion all right you heard it here first folks thanks so much for your time